Hey guys, so quick video today. Um, I've got some pure stage two turbos, the DD version uh, for my 2008 uh, 135 here. It's the N54 motor. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to just take a look at the two turbos side by side um, to take a look at some of the differences because it's pretty interesting. Okay, so here on the right, we've got the stock turbo. Um, and right away, just uh, look at the size of that billet compressor wheel. <laughs> I mean, it's a lot bigger. Um, you can see what they do is they take the stock snout and they machine it down. So it's really thin, but it allows them to fit a bigger compressor wheel in there. Um, and also note that these are not the um, two inch high flow version of the Pure Stage 2. They do offer a free upgrade that has an extended um, two inch snout. And the benefits of that is your inlets aren't gonna slip off quite as easily and you just get a little bit more airflow. Um, the reason why I went with these ones is because I already had the um, VRSF inlets for the stock inlet size. And I'm planning on going to maybe 500 wheel horsepower. I'm not trying to push 600 or anything. So it's not really gonna make that much of a difference. You can see that they, uh, they really clean these up. Um, I know that they take refurbished, uh, they refurbish the turbos, but I'm not exactly sure what they do, what parts they replace completely. But if you take a look at the stock ones, I mean, it's all rusty and kind of, uh, looks like heat damaged. Um, uh, but yeah, you can see on the pure stage two, they are looking brand new. Um, they also provide you with a uh, brand new wastegate actuator, which is upgraded, which is nice. Um, so you can see on the linkage here, this is the common failure point for these um, N54 turbos because they have a pneumatic wastegate. Um, and so this is, uh, this just gets loose over time um, from the bushing wearing out. So what they do is they put um, a uh, upgraded arm in there that's got a thicker bushing that is supposed to wear match the inside. Um, and then you can see here, this is the stock wastegate actuator end. Um, and you can see that the one provided is a little bit thicker, um, both in that direction and also this way here. A little hard to tell on camera. And there's the other one. You can see it's got the little pure logo on there. Okay, now let's take a look at the other side here. There's also quite a big difference here. So that's the pure. You can see they also machine that out. It's bigger. It's quite a bit bigger. This is the reason why they upgrade the wastegate arms on these things. Is you can look, this is a worn turbo. Um, and that's what all the wastegate rattle comes from. Is you've got this arm here that gets loose because the bushing in here uh, wears out essentially and so when the wastegate goes to close you can see it doesn't sit flat when the wastegate is all the way um, seated uh, the flapper here actually does not sit flat and that allows uh, the boost to leak out for comparison here is how the upgraded wastegate flapper works You can see that uh, there really is very little play. This thing doesn't move much at all. It moves just a little bit, just enough to be able to close the flapper. And it sits nice and flat. This whole assembly in here is thicker than the stock one. Pretty sweet. I'm glad I won't have to worry about this again. Something that's kind of interesting about these upgraded turbos is 
as the snout goes in, it actually bevels off and it's extra wide where the compressor wheel is. Um, so you can see the snout. It's a little hard to see on camera, but there's that little ridge there. And so the, the compressor wheel is actually a little bit bigger than the snout is. Uh, whereas when you go to look at the stock ones, it's just a, it's a straight shot back into the compressor wheel. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, I really look forward to getting these on the car uh, here at the end of October. I'm going to have a mechanic friend help me out because it's a huge job. Um, but go ahead and like and subscribe if you want to see more N54 content. Um, there's going to be a lot more on this channel with the 135 I got last year. Uh, excited to be pushing a little bit more boost on the stock turbos. I'm at about 17 PSI right now, but on the new ones, I mean, they support up to 30, I think, but I'm not going to go that nuts with it. I'll probably be shooting for maybe 22 or 23, um, depending if I'm going to run some E85 mixed in or not. Um, and I got a whole lot of other goodies in that box over there that are going to go on the car. So lots of good content coming up. Uh, thanks and I'll see you next time.